Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Hudson High. Today, the 16 and two Hudson Hawks take on the six and 12 Bulldogs of Monty Tech. The non-starters for Monty Tech are being introduced. They are number four is Olivia LeBlanc. Number 12, Elena Sarsfield. Number 23 is Rebecca Lee. Number 30 is Chloe Hill. Number 31 is Riley Maynard. 32 is Maeve Hansen. Number 35 is Cassandra Sanger. Number 40 is Naomi McDonald. And number 54 is Jada DiCarlo. The starters for the Bulldogs, number 10, is Cassidy Butel. Number 13 is Paige Gadarowski. Number 24, Jessica Mueller. Number 25 is Kylie Nesser uh, Nesseran. And those are your starters for the Bulldogs of Monty Tech. Now your non-starters for the Hawks. Number two is Kathleen O'Malley. Number 10, Taylor Bruce, number 11, Riley Maximiak. Number 15 is Lila Rice. Number 21, Madeline Hare. Number 22, Sarah Libby. Number 32 is Emma Leonardo. And number 33 is Layla Malahi. The starters for the Hawks. Number four is Audrey Lennox. Number five is Caitlin Pume. 13, Gracie Giorgio gets the start. Number 23 is Christina Bruce. And number 24 is Sam Collette. That rounds off your starters as they now will be introduced. We'll see them into the court now. I'm Pete Conti joining me today. Billy Hurley. Hey, Bill. Hi, Pete. How are you? Back again for this is This is our first afternoon together, right? Yeah, first playoff game, too. Yeah. It's kind of exciting. This is the quarterfinal round of the Central Mass Athletic Directors Association Tournament. It's always an exciting time of the year. Try to play as deep into March as you can. Yep. And the starters for the Hawks have been introduced. Now we'll pause for the playing of a national anthem. <coughs> set to go from Hudson High, the 16 and two Hudson Hawks, and the six and 12 Monty Tech Bulldogs. Hawks coming off of their league title clinching game the other night. Any thoughts on that one, Bill? Well, that one was over early, Pete. <laughs> and uh, <clears throat> I talked to, uh, Coach Murphy before the game, and he said he wants you and I to be more honest. And uh, well, honest to goodness, that game was over four yeah. minutes into the game. Yeah, Hawks <coughs> went into the press. It, it, it was ten or, ten or twelve to nothing in favor of the Hawks before Lunenburg could yeah. even get across yeah. the midfield to midcourt. <clears throat> and that's what I find most impressive is, yeah, they score a lot of points, but they don't give up many points, and that 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 could pay dividends or should pay dividends during the tournament. And we're set to get going here. Jessica <coughs> Mueller will tip. We got a couple of good referees tonight, Pete. These guys uh, used to referee when I was still coaching. Colette wins the tip, bounces all the way to the corner. Bruce Whoa. saves it. The 
smart play by by uh, by Casey, Casey Boutel. Put the ball off of Caitlin Pume's foot just to get the ball, get the possession back. She was trapped right. pretty deep into that corner. Now Bellamo gets it across. Well, I have to say that was a good start for Monty Tech that they were able to get the ball over half court. Most teams have been having trouble to start the game. Jessica Mueller tried to save it. Stepped on the end line. Now Lennox to Bruce. Back to Lennox up top. Giorgio into the corner. Bounce pass underneath for Collette. Little spin move. Just puts it up and in. The Hawks take the two to nothing lead. Mueller. Down into the paint. Blocked by Pume. Hotel recovers, kicks it outside for Bellavo. Close but no cigar for Bellavo. And Colette had to work through a little bit of traffic right underneath for Giorgio. Missed the first one, got the put back. And straight pass. Yeah, they, they had a chance to break the press on that. Uh possession, but they just a little bit too impatient. So Monty Tech looks like they're in a 1-3-1. One, one. Uh, it's a different look. Yep. And I'm sure they've, Hudson's worked on it, but I haven't seen them up against a 1-3-1 one, one this year. Mueller. Oh, that's a nice steal. Good bounce pass intercepted by Pume. Now Nessaran. So it might have been partially blocked yep. by uh, Christina Bruce. And Bruce at the other oh, end. Oh, and one. <laughs> Makes the basket, gets the foul. I think this is uh, gonna be the key, like right out of the gate is, can Monty Tech get back on defense? And right now it doesn't look like they can. Christina Bruce to the line. And she's good with the end one. Hawks up by nine. Nessaran down to Boutel, puts up a shot off the rim, short. And quickly the other way is Hume. And she's fouled going to the hoop. Cassidy Boutel will be charged with the foul. Oh, and she's not shooting, it was underneath. And Colette saves the loose ball. Yeah, and it. another Bruce. and one. And Bruce puts it up and in. <laughs> Maddie Carly activated today, missing the last four games. Back in action today, hasn't got in yet. She's on the end of the bench. I think they're going to wean her in. Work her in. Yeah. Yep. No, and no reason not to. Right. No reason to hurry. you got the state tournament coming up, and you need, her, you need her at full strength. Gives it to Bel Belvo and tried to get it back to Nesserin in the corner. Hawks get the ball. I don't think this is a good idea. Presses on by Monty Tech. He's going to create a two-on-one. Yeah. yeah, that's Drop the shoulder, went the other way, put it up off the glass. Once they make two passes after the inbounds against this press, there's a two-on-one, and they're not going to stop Bruce. Timeout. Monty Tech, 5.15 left to go first quarter. The Hawks, 13. And Monty Tech, scoreless. Yeah, good start for the Hawks. <clears throat> 
I see a brand new football coach over in the corner over there, Zach uh, Attaway. Uh, yeah, Congratulations to Zach. Yeah, maybe uh, if I can get his attention, maybe uh, we can he can answer a few questions for us at halftime. <laughs> we'll, uh, yeah. we'll see if we can get his attention while we're doing this. Malahi to Lennox. Lennox over to the left for Pume. Pume's double teamed quickly. Bruce switches it up, cross side. Ooh. Colette to Malahi off the rim. Rebound by Gadarowski. This is a good job, Hudson, reversing the ball. I know I say it all the time, but it's so important to reverse the ball and get the defense to flatten out. Money Tech inbounds. Inbounds pass tipped away by Sam Collette. Try that one again. DiCarlo kicks it outside for Bellamo. Nessaran saves it right into the arms of Malahi. Okay, and they got another breakaway if just ahead, a little ahead of, uh, too impatient. Wholesale subs, Pete. Substitutes coming in for the Hawks. Lila Rice. Kathleen O'Malley, Taylor Bruce, and number three, Maddie Kiley, is in the game. Ooh, got a traveling call. I thought they were going to call a reach in foul on uh, Maddie Kiley. Traveling on Chloe Hill, and O'Malley will inbounds for the Hawks. And Maddie Kiley gets her first touch on the ball in a couple of weeks. Rice trapped in the corner. Money Tech the other way. Bellabo loses a handle, regains possession. Gives it to Gadarowski. Wow. And two points for Jaden DiCarlo. Called an offensive foul on 54. Oh, no basket. You're right. Fouls on DiCarlo. Listed at 6-2. The junior from Westminster. Uh, they just ran a nice set there, Pete. Uh, Bruce came in and sailed 54. And we slid a girl underneath. We just didn't make the, uh, as good a pass as you would want. Bellavo. Tight coverage by Rice. She had to dish it out. Ooh. Can't buy one. DiCarlo. And home run. Misses that one. Oh, she had a, uh, the, Bru the other Bruce girl on the side. And rebound on the far side. The putback by Taylor Bruce. Well, that's poetic justice, Pete. She ran the floor and they missed her, and then she got the uh, rebound and put Bellable it in. Bellable misses for three. Yep. Now Kylie up top. To Rice, Rice down in the corner for O'Malley. Off the rim, Bruce couldn't come up with the handle on the rebound. And it's taken away. Nesserin gives it to Gadarowski. Oh. Looked like Gadarowski had intentions of giving it back to her, but she stopped. Yeah, yeah I, th um, I think Bruce tipped it out of bounds. It's the right idea to try to get it into her. Mueller inbounds. Gets it back underneath. Skies it over the rim. Picked up by DiCarlo. And DiCarlo is short. Good. And it'll be Hudson Ball. Gracie Giorgio back in the game 
for Christina Bruce. There you Bruce go. Nice luck. Give and go with Lila Rice. Nice. Got it across to Taylor Bruce for two. That's the way to run the break. Keep your head up. And that's the unselfishness too. You oh, know, absolutely. Two things you can go there. You, you can try to go to the hoop and, and make it a, make it an awkward shot, or you could get it to the uh, to the open girl on the other side of the lane, and that's yeah. what you did. Keep your head up, and you'll see it. And DiCarlo still short, getting the same result on the same shot. <laughs> Tried the baseball pass and <laughs> took an extra dribble, I think. Now O'Malley comes out and Caitlin Pune is back in. Looks like he's trying to transition all of these yeah. starters back in a little at a time. Yeah. Yeah, everybody should see some time today. Bellavo stopped. Got the ball knocked away. She went to, went to go up for the shot. You were to Bellavo. Aaron pass. Chloe Hill chases it down. Gadarowski into the corner for Bellavo. Whoa. Goes off the top of the backboard. And Maddie Kiley will pick up her first foul. Well, here's hoping they make one of them, Pete. Monty Tech not on the there we go. yet. And Jessica Mueller good on her first from the free throw line. Now Lennox back in. All right, that's enough. 17-2, that's enough. <laughs> and Mueller makes them both. Kylie up top. To Colette, back up top. Shot by Kylie, good for three. Welcome back. Defense really collapsed and just left yeah. her there all yeah. by herself. Yeah. Welcome back, Maddie. <laughs> Looks like she stepped on the end line as she took the ball down low. And the basket. Good by Monty Tech. Kylie into the middle. Oh, give it to Collette. her. Oh. Collette kicks it back outside. Final seconds of the first quarter. And a steal underneath. And time expires in the first quarter. We're through one here in Hudson. It's the Hawks 22 and the Bulldogs four. That was a good start, <laughs> to say the least. Yeah. But the last couple games we've done, Pete, it's pretty much been the first quarter. It's been. 15, 16 yeah. point leads, it, the, 18 the first, now. The first five, the first five minutes, you, yep. you you get the whole tenor of the uh, of the game in the first five minutes. Yep. In the other the other bracket, well the other the other games in this bracket, number two Oakmont goes against number seven Worcester Tech, number three Quabbin goes against number six Lunenburg. And number four, BVT, goes against number five, AMSA. A couple teams in there that the Hawks said didn't have too much of a problem with yeah, this year. Yeah. yeah, you just want to make sure now that your kids don't lose their discipline. Audrey Lennox will inbounds for the Hawks. Gets it to Pume. Pume gives it back. Oh, 
Malahi kicked it down low for Colette. Colette. Oh, nice defended look. Defended tightly. Now she's back underneath. Double teamed again, able to get rid of the ball to Malahi. Yeah, reverse the ball. There you go. Over to Pew. And inside the Bruce. Back outside for Lennox. Nice drive. There's uh, a little Euro played. step for you. Yeah. <laughs> Tuck the ball into it. Thought we were going to get the, the stiff arm on the other side. A nice little pass by Malahi back to Lennox underneath. And Mueller off the mark gets gets her own rebound. And it looks like the foul is going to go on Audrey Lennox. Jessica Mueller goes to the line. Good on the first. Butel and DiCarlo now enter for the Bulldogs. And Mueller. She's four for four from the again. line. Perfect from the line so far today. Lennox. All right, they switched to a 2-1-2 uh, zone. Collette. In the corner for Malahi, off the rim, long rebound. Looked like Boutel, last one to touch it for the Bulldogs. And Pume off the mark. All right, got to stop the ball. You want to try to pick her up a little bit earlier. You don't want her to have that free reign to her layup. They made a nice play blocking it. But. Ball be inbounds by Mueller. Up top for Butel. Butel works her way into the foul line, gets a shot in a little long off the rim. And Bruce sends Lennox on her way. Yes. Two. Butel to DiCarlo. Gadarowski. Brendan a little weave there. Gives it to Nesser, and Nesser in from the corner. Had the free look, too. Yeah, yeah. It's a wide open shot. Ball goes out of bounds. Hudson will inbound. Malahi back to Lennox. Gets it to the right to Pugh. Pugh gives it back. Clangs off the rim by Lennox. Rebound by DiCarlo. And DiCarlo gets two. Almost a little sky hook there. <laughs> Lennox kicks it over to Pugh. Back to Lennox. Back to Pugh. And Nesserim was right on her. And Lennox took the shot a little long off the rim. Ooh. And Bruce. He is fouled. She'll go to the line for two. I, I like what um, Hudson's doing. I, if if they come up and with with Takalo up high, come up and set a screen against her, and then you can get the ball down low, and you'll have a layup every time. Keep her out of the play. Yeah, the foul's on number fifty-four, Jada Takalo. That was a real foul. Yeah. That was a Dave Cowan's foul. Yeah. Get your money. If you got to do it, get your money's worth. Yeah, she did. Give her a little stare down, too. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Kylie O'Malley and Lila Rice are now in the game. And Gadarowski comes up short. Now Kylie. 
across to Bruce. Nice drop step. Oh, that was nice. And she's fouled. Jessica Mueller, the guilty party this time. She's got good feet on her knees. She's quite. Yep, yep. Off the mark on the first. Danielle Bellavo now enters in place of Jessica Mueller. She'll have a seat. And Bruce, good on the second. Bellavo gets it to Boutel. Boutel off the mark. And oh. a rebound by Gadarowski and the foul. I think we have the uh, the third coach sitting next to us, Pete. <laughs> yeah. Foul is going to go on Layla Malahi and Gadarowski to the line. Takes the end one. They're doing a good job with foul shooting today. O'Malley up what? top. There you go. Lennox. Kicked it outside, and Lila Rice gets her own rebound. Oh, nice. And Bruce <laughs> tried to fend <laughs> off to Carlo. I think she got fouled. <laughs> oh, Bellabo's up top. To the left is Gadarowski, got it underneath. Kylie Nesserin with the basket. All right, it's 14 point lead. We gotta start uh, picking it up here. O'Malley into the corner for Rice. Now reverse it one more time. There you go. Pump fake by Maddie Kylie. Can't convert. Ooh. And they call a jump ball under the basket. Layla Malay came away cleanly with it. And Gracie Giorgio now in for Christina Bruce. Kylie, go inside. Down low for DiCarlo. And DiCarlo comes up short. She was defended by Gracie Giorgio. Oh. Kylie tried the pass, was tipped away by Bellavo, and we'll have another jump ball. Possession arrow in favor of the Hawks. <coughs> 3 0 3 left before the half. I think you have time and score on, on your screen now. I'll give it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Lila Rice will inbounds for the Hawks. Yeah. I think she's got some blood on her with the call out. Or a contact. And Rice from the corner. Good for three. Well-designed play. Everybody runs it, they know it's coming, but they didn't defend it. DiCarlo had to stop and put the shot up. Covered well by Giorgio. And Bellavo threw up the rainbow, didn't convert. O'Malley quickly away with the rebound. Tip pass got to Giorgio, kicked it back for O'Malley. O'Malley's shot comes up short. And Chloe Hill to Bellabo. Stolen away by Maddie Kiley. Two on one. And Giorgio fouled going in by Paige Gadarowski. She'll go to the line. 2-11 left in the half.
And Giorgio, good on the first. Wholesale changes here for the Hawks. Colette is in, Bruce is in, Pume is in, and Lennox back in. I like them playing these different combinations because when the tournament comes, you get people in foul trouble. They all need to know who to play, how to play with each other. Ooh, short. Giorgio misses on the second rebound by Nesserin. Tried to get the ball to Chloe Hill over in the opposite corner. Pass might have got tipped along the way. Hudson Ball. <laughs> Lennox waits for things to break, kicks it to the left of Pume. To nice, give oh, and nice give and go, Pume. there we go. Can't convert, good idea. And a rebound by DiCarlo. Kylie Nesserin gives it to Gadarowski. And DiCarlo short. So that looks like their plan now is to get the ball into DiCarlo. But she's got to make these shots. It, she's open. Yeah, there we she's go. She's just getting the same result, yeah. the same shot. She, yeah. it, it's the same thing every time. Collette over to Lennox. Yeah. Good for three. Lennox for three. She's a good three-point shooter. She never takes a bad one. 55 seconds to go in the half. And DiCarlo in a scrum with Collette. Possession arrow goes to Monty Tech. Mueller to inbounds for the Bulldogs. Up top for Bellavo. Bellavo with the runner. Off the rim. And a jump ball again. Uh, I think uh, I think Bruce was out of bounds when she fell. Oh, yep, out of bounds. That was Taylor Bruce. Oh, nice cut. Oh. Quick pass out front, Gadarowski couldn't convert. And Mueller off the side of the backboard. Now that's a jump. <laughs> and she's in a scrum with Colette. Colette with a nice reversal. <laughs> yeah. I think it was, is it a one point or a two point takedown? I don't know. <laughs> it was a confident reversal though. Yeah. <laughs> I think they're gonna hold for one. 20 seconds left. No hurry. Get a good shot. Colette into the corner for Pume. Yeah. Back to Colette. Long. Lennox off the rim. Four seconds to go. And the buzzer sounds. Ending the first half with through one. Here in Hudson, it's the Hawks 34 and the Monty Tech Bulldogs 13. Hawks in the first half. They're up 34 to 13. Some bright spots there for, uh, for Monty Tech in that first half. Maddie Kiley back today. Working on uh, trying to get new football coach Zach Attaway. Sent Billy over to uh, to see if he would come over and answer a few questions for us, maybe chat us up a little bit. So we will see. Hawks win this one. They will be back here at home Wednesday night. The uh, the winner to be determined, the, the, all the games that are being played in this bracket. Number two, the Oakmont Spartans take on number seven, Worcester Tech. 
Number three, Quabbin will host number six, Lunenburg. And number four, BVT will host the five seed, AMSA. AMSA, Worcester Tech, and Monty Tech playing out of the Colonial League. Tell them I'll throw them softballs. <laughs> All right, on the count of three, come on down. The halftime activities here in Hudson. They're getting ready for the chuck -a duck Three, two, one. So you'll see a lot of uh, rubber duckies getting thrown around. One came in just behind Cam there. I'll throw it on. A couple close ones there. So as halftime rolls on, we uh, I'm privileged to uh, welcome in the brand new, shiny new football coach. Um, not not somebody that nobody would rec wouldn't recognize. Zach Attaway. I want to uh, personally congratulate you. Thank you. Um, pretty excited. Yes, very excited. Yeah, um, it's an opportunity I've been waiting for and. Um, when it opened up, I wanted to make sure I got my name in. And uh, when they announced me as the next head coach, I was very excited. How did you find out? I had a meeting with Jess Winders on Wednesday afternoon. I uh, sat down in her office for about 20 minutes and discussed yeah. the next steps in the process. Yeah. Uh, which are? How which, much How much leeway do you have in a staff? And, and how uh, much staff is, re is being retained? And how many do you have openings already that you're already looking to, to fill? So we're, uh, Jess and I are going to meet next week and kind of go over, over those steps. Uh, basically what we we're talking about now is just setting up a meeting with the players, the current players, uh, introducing myself, even though I've been part of the program for a while now, uh, just to let them know, like, you know, I have the jobs, you know, see if they got any buddies that are interested in playing or, you know, we'll yep. just try to do a little bit of recruiting within the school now and, and get the numbers back up over 60. Yep. That'd be, that's the main goal. Well, it's good. I, I'm sure that the, you know, I mean, the program is better for it. It's, it's a, um, it's a familiar face. It somebody that knows the inner workings of what's going on with it, and uh, I, I think it's my, in my opinion, I, I, I do think it's the logical decision. Um, I don't know who the, who all the finalists were, and, and you know, I'm sure that'll come out in, in coming days and weeks. Who the finalists actually were. I was, uh, I had been riding Jess a little bit. I said, Jeff, you need a football coach yet? She said, no, we're going to do it pretty soon. I told her, I, I keep riding by the school to see if there's any smoke coming out of the chimney. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, all, all the guys that, that put in for the job, you know, they would have been a good fit for the program. Um, you, you know, they care about the program. They care about the kids. Uh, I was just fortunate enough to be the one that they, they went with. Yeah. Yeah. And it's good. I, and, you know, and, you, and your dad was was an was a coordinator here for for several years your brother played in the program you're coming from the program and uh i i do think the uh it's a good move for the hudson football program as a whole yeah thank you i'm excited um, and uh can't wait to get it started in september no me neither <laughs> again new football right. coach zach attaway thank you now when you see billy tell him to come over <laughs> yeah I, I told you i just softball it's a, so again, the Hawks, if they if they win here today, they're, they're ahead handily, 20, 29 points. They'll um, they'll be back here again on Wednesday night. After Wednesday night, if they win, uh, the, these games, this, the finals for this tournament will go to a different site. It'll be at a neutral site. I am hearing either Assumption College or Worcester State. So we'll uh, we'll see if we can manage a uh, a live stream for that one as well. We'll have to get. Uh, get our athletic director in touch with uh, some people at those uh, neutral sites should that arise. Be back for second half action here momentarily. Cam Cieslook on the uh, business end of the camera. Jared Colbert's upstairs keeping our Keeping our link on so we don't have to uh, to rebuffer and uh, and have frozen screens and whatnot. I think it's been pretty good this winter though. As the Monty Tech Bulldogs make their way back to the court, the Hawks should be 
filing in from behind me very shortly. Boys play today, boys play in Grafton in, uh, in their first round action. That game is a five o'clock tip, I believe. And just before the game started, the, the hockey team making a trip to Martha's Vineyard. They'll be down there tonight. I believe they play tomorrow on the Vineyard and then they'll, uh, they'll make their way back. Is this the end of vacation, Cam, or is this the, uh, the start of vacation? Is this the end of vacation or the start? Start, start? This is the start of February vacation. I don't get one. <laughs> I never get a week off. Billy coming back or what? Come the girls, ready for the second half. Denise Carter just came through your screen. Always nice to see Denise. Denise, a hard worker with the Booster Club. Helps out the Hall of Fame committee immensely. On top of her daily duties in the main office here at Hudson High. It was good. It was short and sweet. That's how yeah. he, he wanted it that way. Yeah. Short and sweet. So. Yeah. It'll be that's the easiest interview he's gonna have in the next yeah, right. hundred years as his coach. I know, right? Now I've spent a lot of Friday sitting with Zach and you know when I when I arrive at the bowl and there a couple of the coaches are sitting out on the uh, on the railings outside the clubhouse and I, I kinda sit around and try to get a few questions in. Yeah. It, those football guys, they're so tight-lipped. It's, yeah. it's like they're carrying around the nuclear football. <laughs> yeah. You guys graded out okay. Is it on a curve or is it straight? Uh, well, yeah, it's, a, it's always a curve. It's always a curve <laughs> with officials. Yeah. <laughs> it's, a, it's a scale. It's a sliding scale. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's what Billy was saying. <laughs> That's what Billy was saying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I only had four. One of them was Yeah. So we get set to go here to start the second half. It's the Hawks 34 and Monty Tech 13. Hawks finished 16 and two regular season, averaging 58.2 points for, and a uh, stingy 38.7 points against. As we start the second half, Paige Gadarowski will <laughs> inbounds for the Bulldogs. <laughs> She, tur tell. she turned her head when you call their name. I know, they always look, because like, they do it right in front of us, so they always, when like, you say their name, they turn around. Like like you owe her money. <laughs> yeah, Boutel misses from outside. Nice pass, yeah. nice pass. Pass down low from Kylie. 
finds Bruce under the basket. And the Hawks kind of start, finish, start where they finished off in the first half. Giorgio with the two on one with Colette. Colette with the rebound up off the bottom of the backboard. And Gracie Giorgio puts it home. Hudson has eight girls in the scoring uh, column. And it's only one half. Mueller on the near side for Boutel. Mueller cut down the lane, and Boutel found it for two. Yeah, it's just wide open in the middle there. They need to uh, deny that flash. And Maddie Kiley long from three. Rebound by Belavo. Nessaran misses wide right. And the jump ball underneath between Mueller and Kylie. And the possession arrow in favor of the Hawks. Lennox to Giorgio. Giorgio kicks it back up top for Lennox. Collette from the line kicks it outside. Oh, Lennox to three. She's deadly. Oh, gosh, yeah. Kylie steals the inbounds pass. Oh, no, I don't think and she. And she traveled. I didn't think she lifted the back foot, but. I don't have a say. Oh, she stepped. Ooh. You can let them know when they come back down here. <laughs> Colette underneath, up off the backboard, rebound. Kylie gathers herself, spins, doesn't make the shot. Out Colette, muscles her way in for two. And traveling is called on Nesserin. So the Hawks have the chance for the four-point play here with the turnover. Or and five. Kylie looking <laughs> to make it five, a little mm -hmm. short. This is probably the most freeze I think we've seen Hudson take. They don't usually need to. Ooh. And yeah. Lennox How got her. Lennox. <clears throat> Lila Rice enters with Caitlin Pune. Boutel kicks it back outside. Gatorowski off the mark, rebound underneath. Mueller misses. Uh oh, home run. Kylie. Nice Rice pass. pass to Giorgio. But all she was able to do was to, yeah. was to kick that out. You know, By the time she got possession, she was going to be past the uh, past the, the end line. She just kind of kicked that over, and Giorgio converted. You you run drills and drills and drills at practice, and then you just see it pay dividends on a play like that. And it's again, it's, it's the unselfish decision mm. off the bat. Sure. Yep. Because she knew, you know, as soon as she, as soon as she touched that, she said, oh, I'm not going to be able to control this thing before I mm. exit the playing surface. But so she immediately she, looked to the right. She yep. knew, she knew there's somebody was trailing. She touched it right over, and, and uh, Giorgio converted. 5:14 left to go, third quarter. It was 13 points, Pete, with about three or four minutes to go in the second quarter, and now it's back up to 30. And Danielle Bellavo will inbound for the Bulldogs. She gets it to Boutel. Now Hudson looks like they're in a 1-3-1. One, one. And Boutel try to get it. Over to the right for Boutel, went out of bounds. Madeline Merchant and Haley Douglas are the coaches for the Bulldogs. A 
Rice. Giorgio shot off the rim, rebound Kylie in traffic. Ooh. <clears throat> call for travel. Hudson Faithful didn't like that one. <laughs> Butel. Gadarowski. Down to DiCarlo. And she's called for the trap. Yeah, it was the right idea, and she was open, too. Got to bounce the ball first. Kylie walks it up for the Hawks. Hmm. There you go, look inside. Cutter. Collette. There you go. And Kylie drives the lane, gets the pass from Colette. Right. Here's the steal. Colette with the easy two. Having another big night. Boutel into the corner for Bellavo. Pass, shot comes up short. Oh. Kylie, stretch pass for Pume. Pume gives it back. Off the rim, rebound to Carlo. Boutel to Bellavo just inside the three point line. Comes up short. Now DiCarlo underneath. And Caitlin Pume forces the jump. We get four new ones for the Hawks. O'Malley, Bruce, Christina Bruce. Len, uh, Audrey Lennox and Layla Malahi are uh, your five for the Hawks. 3.16 left to go. Third quarter, Hawks by a bunch. Taylor Bruce off the rim. Rebound by Malahi, can't get it to fall. Gets her own rebound. Oh, oh, nice ball fake. Oh, nice pass. Got it underneath for Christina Bruce for two. She's got 10, 12 points. DiCarlo up off the glass and in. Yeah. That's what Monty Tech needs to do every time down here. She needs to touch the ball every single time. Side for Rice. She's bumped off the ball by Butel. Well, you see that that one shot she just made that went up off the glass. She had always just been been trying right. to just float that one in uh, earlier in the game. Maybe that's off the glass. That's a sweet spot. We'll see. Taylor Bruce inbounds for the Hawks. Got it to Malay. Malay couldn't get it to drop. Bruce to O'Malley. Back outside for Malay. Pat, the shot comes up short. Malay, he's going to try it again. Short again. Rebound by Taylor Bruce. <laughs> She's been scoring a little bit the last couple of games, Taylor Bruce. Yep. They had a steal by O'Malley. Got Lennox to her left. Dishes it over and Lennox up off the glass for two. 12 points for Lennox tonight. Ooh. Almost a steal again by Lennox. Pokes the ball from behind. 
Look up. Look up. You got a trailer. Nice. Oh. <coughs> she lifted her eyes up just as the ball was coming. Tell outside for Elena Sarsfield. Got it back down inside, but Boutel couldn't convert. Layla Rice quickly over to Bruce, and she's fouled by Boutel. Christina Bruce to the line. 15 points for Christina Bruce tonight. Conversely, in one last minute, 48 seconds left, third quarter. Naomi McDonald gets stolen away. Lennox saves it for Rice underneath for O'Malley. O'Malley can't put it up off the glass. Bad angle shot. She was well underneath right. the backboard that time. Riley Maynard gets it to Chloe Hill. Boutel, wide left, rebound Malahi. Uh oh. And Christina nice. Bruce underneath for O'Malley, and she's fouled. It's going to go on Naomi McDonald. Again, always looking for somebody that's open. If you run the floor, you'll be open. O'Malley will shoot two. Long on the first. Misses both. And the buzzer sounds. Anything in the third quarter with through three. Here at Hudson High, it's the Hawks 58. And the Bulldogs 17. Almost a mirror image of the first quarter, Pete. They had an 18 point lead after one, and we outscored them by 18 in this quarter. Reset the clock, eight minutes left in this one. I don't think there's uh, any doubt no. who's gonna come away with this one today. Don Meredith would be singing right now. Yeah. Turn out the lights. <laughs> Stop the bus. Yeah. <clears throat> but give Money Tech a lot of credit. They're still playing hard. Yeah. They just don't have the guns. Yeah, yeah, they're just out, man. <clears throat> so it's Maximiak, Lennox, Go girls. Colette, Giorgio, and Lila Rice, uh, Taylor Bruce in the game for the Hawks. Tough to catch up when they change them all like that. Out collect to Lennox. Maximiak off the mark. Yula with the rebound ahead for Gadarowski. Down low for DiCarlo. Mm. Carlo misses that little floater. Messerman shot blocked. Lennox with the rebound. Ahead for Taylor. Ooh. <laughs> oh, she's fouled by Jessica Mueller. Taylor Bruce to the line. Mrs. 
Oh, oh, rebound. Oh. Bellable. To Gadarowski. Gadarowski back to Bellable. Who takes a little running jumper. Got tipped. Maximiak. Will inbounds for the Hawks. Giorgio. Head for Bruce. And Lennox, the first three pointer she missed today? I think so. Have to work on that. <laughs> yes, sir. Downloaded to Carlo. Ooh. She had to try coming back off the glass. She had more success going off the glass yeah. than she did just trying to lay that one in. Gadarowski for two. She's got seven points. Giorgio, quick pass. Nice look. To Emma Leonardo. <laughs> Maddie Hare now in the game. Sam Collette ahead. For Maddie Kylie. Maddie Kylie off the mark. Rebound by Giorgio. And Kylie open look. Z2. <clears throat> Welcome back, Maddie. Oh. <laughs> Kylie, Kylie missed four games, came into today still eighth in uh, in Central Mass scoring with a 10-point average. Well, she needs one more then. Hare pulls up, gives it to Giorgio. Back up top for Kylie. Hare. Down into the corner. Emma Leonardo off the mark. DiCarlo off the glass. Oop. Colette switches across. Oh, nice ball Harris. fake. Oh. Nice ball fake. And she's fouled Foul by Kylie Nesser. She's got height. Yep, just needs a few pizzas. <laughs> <laughs> I think I jinxed Coach Murphy today. I was saying what a great job they're doing shooting foul shots. And thankfully this game's a blowout and it's not going to matter. on the second. Gadarowski inside for DiCarlo. Spins around the opposite way, puts it up off the glass. See, I'm telling you, off the glass yeah. is her, that's her <laughs> shot. I think she's missed once since she's tried to kiss it off the glass. Yeah, Kylie's pass stolen by Nesserin. Got it to Gadarowski. Gadarowski misses the layup. Rebound, Bellavo. Mueller gets across for Gadarowski. Bounces off the rim. Giorgio had the position on uh, on DiCarlo. DiCarlo couldn't come mm. up with the rebound. <clears throat> and Kylie. Still put the ball off of uh, off of the foot of Gadarowski, so the Hawks will retain possession. I think Gadarowski would have loved it if it went off her foot. I think she <laughs> whipped it right off her belly. Oh. <laughs> <clears throat> hey, 
So more changes for the Hawks. Kylie stays in, Pume is in. Good Malahi. to, good to see, see some of the younger kids get some action. Ooh. Sarah Libby. That looked like a foul. <laughs> Couldn't catch up with the roll with three and a half minutes to go. Oh, nice block. Kylie. Boy, she likes to thread the needle, doesn't she? <laughs> yeah. Side step by Kylie off the rim. Coming out, out coming out, wait. <laughs> Almost had Maddie right on the table here. We'll do the interview after the game. And <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> Kylie exits. Riley Maximiak now. In for Maddie Kiley. Bruce Maximiak. Twice off the rim, couldn't get it to fall. Boutel. Stops and pops to three. Maximiak pressured by Chloe Hill. This baseline cut is open all day. Well, he's short. Shot comes up short. A lot of jump balls today. Riley Maynard forces the jump ball for the Bulldogs. And Christina Bruce exits. Lila Rice. In her spot, Malahi off the rim. Able to get the rebound, Ooh. jump ball, position arrow in favor of the Bulldogs. 2.12 left. Rice had it knocked away from behind by Cassidy Butel. Inside of two minutes. Oh, nice block. Shot block by Riley Maximiak. Wow. Three pointer and a foul. Butel makes a <clears throat> three pointer. She hit a three-pointer a couple possessions ago. <laughs> Chloe Hill to Sarsfield. Sarsfield shot brings off the rim. Malahi with the rebound. Oh. Had that pass intercepted by Brutel. Quickly the other way, the Bulldogs. Brutel up top for Hill. Brutel puts one up off the rim. Rebound, Maximiak. Ahead for Lila Rice. Rice slows things down a bit, gives it back to Maximiak. One minute to go. Maximia stolen by Cassidy Butel. Butel pulls up, tries to work away across, lost possession. Able to get the pass underneath. <laughs> Looked like it went to Elena Sarsfield and she was fouled. A 
four for four. Coming in for the Hawks. Pugh will be the only Hawk that stays on the floor. Elena Sarsfield goes to the line. High off the glass. Rebound by Taylor Bruce. Leaves it for Maddie Kiley, 34 seconds to go. O'Malley kicks it inside. Looking for Taylor Bruce off the rim. Hume. And on the far side, Hume converts for two. 15 seconds to go. From outside, Ooh. Naomi McDonald hits one for three in the closing seconds of this one. <clears throat> and the buzzer sounds. Hawks again, 31 point victory again by the Hawks. <laughs> and su surprisingly, Pete, we only scored seven points in that quarter. Yeah, I mean, there was, you know, they, they put a lot of different combinations on the floor, too. That, yep. That, yep. Uh, and, it, you know, they, they're combinations that they may need a little further down the road. Absolutely. Um, as they continue on. So the Hawks finish up this first series of games. They, now they'll wait for the lowest remaining seed. Number two, Oakmont plays Worcester Tech, number seven seed. Number three, Quabbin plays number six, Lunenburg. And number four, BBT, will, is playing number five, Amso. You know, I was looking the other day uh, at the, some of the headlines in the uh, in the Worcester Telegram that the team that dealt the first loss to this team this year in the opening game, um, 66 to 59, was uh, was Worcester South. Worcester South just capped off an undefeated season. Wow. Um, 18 and 0 for Worcester South. So uh, congratulations to them as well. So we're going to have to wait yep. a few days. We'll be back here again on Wednesday night, I hear. And uh, it'll be one of those teams that we just mentioned to you. But uh, for Billy Hurley, I'm Pete Conti for Camp Seaslook. Jared upstairs. Thank you, Jared. Final score again, the Hawks 65. And the Monty Tech Bulldogs 34. We'll see you Wednesday night for the uh, semifinal round. Good night, good afternoon.